Do you remember the moment when filmmaking was no longer a dream and it had actually become a reality for you? Do you remember, do you remember that realization or? I've had several stages of realizing that it's still happening. Uh, sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night and I'm like, wow, I'm being paid to make movies. That's good. That's, <laughs> that's a good thing. Um, but honestly, that, that one click never really, there was never really one click of the dream is now a reality. Um, and I think it really has to do with the fact that I guess I've always known subconsciously that it's all about just making stuff. It's all about just making art. And you can do that whether or not someone's paying you to do it. Uh, you can, it's just something that you do. And I've always done it. So in a weird way, this has been going on since Mark and I were kids. Um, we just happen to be doing it at studios and at HBO right now. And it sounds like too, it goes back to what you said, that there's no set path. Yeah, there's no set path, yeah. And yeah. It, it almost seems like, it, is it some way a curse to kind of say, oh, okay, yeah, I've made it. And because in, in Hollywood, whether it's whatever job it is, whether you're a makeup artist, whatever, mm -hmm. you're only kind of as good as your last job. Yeah, I've, I don't feel like I've made it at all. And I don't, I don't know if anybody feels like they've made it because you could easily never do another movie again. Um, no one will guarantee you a movie. Even if you have a three picture deal with a studio, they're not necessarily going to make it. They're just going to look at it, <laughs> you know. Um, so I think, you know, it, it all just comes down to you just have to make your stuff and, and believe in yourself and, and, um, and keep doing it, you know, at, at any level, whether it's a $10 million studio movie or a $40,000 Kickstarter project. <laughs>